Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd, uh, I'd like to begin by running through some very basic mathematical ideas which are integral to the evening so that the recurrent themes are clear to you all. So, uh, let's consider these sets of numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Now, these are known as sequences, and they have two characteristics. Uh, their terms go on forever, and they have a pattern, which helps us to continue the sequence. Now, some patterns are more obvious than others. See, with this sequence, the pattern's very clear. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 12. <coughs> But with this sequence, the primes. Now, a prime number is only divisible by one in itself. Now, the pattern of the primes is less obvious. Is there a pattern at all? So you've got 7, 11, 13, 17, so on. I mean, sometimes to find the hidden pattern, we have to look at things in a new way. <coughs> now, if I was to add together the terms of sequence, we would have what is known in mathematics as a series. So, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is a finite series of five terms with a sum of, um, anyone? <laughs> 31. Now, if I was to allow this series to continue forever, it would become an infinite series. And, it, and it's clear that the sum, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 and so on to infinity, is itself infinite, making it a divergent series. It diverges from zero, that is to say, the difference between the sum and zero widened infinitely. Um, I can also express the above series as the sum of the powers of two. So it's two to the power of naught plus two to the power of one plus two squared plus two cubed plus two to the power of four. And using the sigma notation, I would write the sum from n equals <coughs> naught to infinity of two n. Now, I want to show you another divergent series, perhaps the simplest of all. Um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on to infinity equals infinity. But this is all very logical. But now, <laughs> I'm going to do something very strange. I'm going to disrupt the 